welcome. Thank you for checking out this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Marketing Video Maker along with using Canva and the U tags. So stay tuned. I give you just the facts. Let's get into the video. Find the link in the description. Click into it. If you are on your cell phone, just go to Play Store. Type in Marketing Video. You will see this icon come up. Marketing Video Maker Promo Video Slideshows. Install and click Open. You will notice an ad first. Wait until it skips. You will notice that you have an ad showing on the top. Slide your screen up. Here you have your templates. Many different types of templates. Education, real estate, food, fashion, travel, fitness, stores, ads, handyman services, sports, digital marketing, events, business and finance, automotive, motivational, and many more. There are many that you will see that will have this pro. If it has pro, this means that it is not part of the free version. When you see your templates that don't have the pro on them, this is part of your free version. You can create Facebook, and here you can see the different canvas sizes here. A vertical Facebook 4x5, a 2x3, a 1x1, the portrait Facebook, or the horizontal Facebook. Instagram, you have the three sizes here, the 9x16, the 1x1, and the 4x5. Twitter, 16.9 and 1.1. The YouTube, 16x9. The LinkedIn, vertical 4x5 vertical 2 by 3, square 1 by 1, portrait 9 by 16, and horizontal 16.9 by 9. And also your generic. So you have your generic 4 by 5, 2 by 3, 1 by 1, 9 by 16, and 16 point nine by 9. If you click into the search, you can then look at all your different categories education, real estate, food, fashion, travel, fitness, stories, finance, automotive, motivational, hiring, invitation, spa, salon, beauty, music. You can also search in your templates. If you click into your tools, here you will see audio tools, video tools, and output folders. And this is where you will find your videos that you've already created. Today, we are creating a YouTube. Select a photo. You can select up to 10 photos. Choose next. You will see another ad. Close the ad. And now you can move your photos around. Now, just by clicking into this double headed arrow and moving your photo to where you would like to see it. Simply
wherever you place your photo, the other one will be replaced in the same way. So if I move this up here, this one will come down here. When you click on these three dots, you will notice you have Edit, Duplicate, View, or Delete. If you choose Edit, you will then see your photo, and here you can add more text. Here at the bottom, you will see Templates, Create, Search, Tools, and My Videos. Enter these three dots here, and you click Edit, and you choose Add Your Text, You can also add any emoji. Your text will appear here. And you can make it bigger or smaller. You can rotate it, put it anywhere, move it anywhere on the screen. Put it anywhere you want on your picture. You can use these options down here for rotation, size, color, font, shadow, style, opacity, letter spacing. If you wanted to put more space between your letters, vertical spacing, if you wanted to put more space between the lines. And anytime you can use your undo arrow to undo as far back as you would like. And then when you're done, you would click Save. And you would select Original or high, high Definition. Powerful or easy? How about both? You will How about that. CRM that sales reps and sales leaders love? And has all the tools. And then when you're done, you would click Save. And you would select Original or High, high Definition. Powerful or easy? How about both? You will How about that. CRM that sales reps and sales leaders love? And has all the tools. Once you choose your image, You can then see the original, see it in a different size. You can flip your image so that it turns in different directions. And then when you are done with what you would like to see for your image, you would then click this check mark. The image will now appear on your picture, wherever you like to put it. At any time, you can click on the undo and you can take your image out. Now, I'm going to add I'm going to add two images here. This is an actual capture, sorry. Okay, so to add an image, choose an image, and I'm going to choose two images here. Um, I'm going to choose this image and I'm just going to use it as the original and then I am going to choose another image and then just use it as the original. So now I have these two images here. Now as you can see this image is on top of this image here. Okay, so this is on top. This is where you can use your layers and you can see the different elements that you have on your canvas. You can then move your layers. That one's on top. We're going to make this one on top. Now, 
when we move this one, this one is now on top. If we choose to use this one, this one will be on top. And it will show you all your different layers here. And if you want to add, say you wanted to add some text on top of that, just images, you can change where your images are on your actual canvas. And here you can copy your image so you can create more than one of the same. And if you don't want it, you can use your X. You can also use your undo button and your redo button. And then when you are done, you will click save. And I'm just choosing. You are going to see an ad, unfortunately. Sorry about that. But when you have a free version, you will see the ad. Okay, so going back into your edit, you can now put a background on. And here you can change, you can choose a color. Or you can choose your own color. And this is your background. So you could make your background. And then if you don't like that, you can always click the undo. This will undo any of your edits that you've already made. This will redo your edit. And you can also look at your layers and you only have one layer on. You can also, if you decide that you would like to keep this edit, you can also click on lock instead of save. You can use the, you will have to unlock your position. You can use the rotate. You can use the size. And you can use the crop. The difference between the crop and the size is, is if you want to crop it, you can use the aspect ratio, which means it will stay the, ex the same. Just get smaller. Or you can crop to shape. So these are the different shapes that you can use. For the free version, you can use any one of these shapes that you see. And when you see Pro here, that means this is the paid version. And it's up to you whether you want to pay. If you feel that this is going to be useful to you, then get the paid version. I use the free version. At any time, you can change your background. You can make it transparent. You can change the color. You can change anything in your background. Graphics. You can pick your own, and this is where you would add your own graphics. And at any time, you can take anything off 
your scene. When you go into graphics, you can look at offers and sales, and all you do is simply click on it, and it'll load it. And you probably will see an ad. But that is the price of using a free program. Just wait for the ad to be over and load your graphic. So you have offers and sales, you have likes, you have share, you have subscribe, you have social media, you have email, money, and it looks like you can't use money unless you have pro, food and drinks, another one that's pro, shopping is pro. Creative Ideas is Pro. So in that case, here we're looking at this is all pro. So what I would do is I would go to my Canva, create an account at Canva. And here you can make your own designs. And you don't have to worry about paying for the pro account because you can make your own designs. And Canva has many different social media templates that you can use that are free, you could see all their free ones here that you can use. Designs, oh, sorry, these are my designs. These are designs that I've created through Canva. So in order for you to use this here, use your own designs that you create at Canva. All of these designs are created at Canva. and shapes. These shapes you can use and basically you would you would use a shape if you want to put some text in that will go on top of your picture. So if I use the square shape and I use text and say I I say I would say something like try now this would then go on top of this shape right here I want this to be a little bit more of a thicker kind of text here. That's how you would use your shapes. And I'm doing the undo now and going back into shape. So you have your basic, your circle, your paper, your line separator, your mobile, your triangle, your square. And here again, you see these things here in Pro? Very easy to create in Canva. So don't worry about buying the free account. You can create all of these things and more in Canva. 
yes, I realize that that it does have a lot of ads and it does have a, a, a lot that you can use with Pro. But if you can create your own designs in Canva, then you can save yourself money and still have a good program. Cardboard, golden, concrete, chalkboard, wood, fabric, pastel colors, business, nature, services, and you get into your pros. And anything can be recreated. Choose next. Choose a default editor. Choose your theme. And where you don't see the pro, you can use it. Once you choose your theme, choose your music. Listen to the music. See if it's what you want. It's just going to go for 20 seconds. But my whole theme goes for 33 seconds. So I want to change this so that it goes for the time that I project goes for. watermark or not. If you choose yes, then it will tell you, do you want to unlock all the features? Uh, you can go for the six months, the 12 months, or you could go by the month. It's up to you. You don't have to. Click save. And just click no. And full HD. And it will then be creating your project. I would definitely get the paid version if it, this was the only pro program that I was using. But I use different programs, so I don't need to get the paid version right now.
just get the paid version if it's something that is going to be helpful to you. Okay, so now it tells me here is my finished product and I can turn it into a GIF. I can trim it, compress it, or share it. If I turn it into a GIF, which is a GIF, and it will load another ad. You will see this up here in the top the right. Click on the X when it's done, and here you can turn this into a GIF by just using a certain amount. And then you would then click Save. Just not doing that right now. You can also trim it, compress it, and click Share. You can share to any of the places that you have on your phone, whatever you have installed. You can share to your Drive, you can share to YouTube, you can share to your InShot program, you can share to whatever other programs. You can share to Canva, to your Facebook. This is Facebook Pages. I'm just going to click in here to show you. Okay, so you're going to click that twice. These are all my Facebook pages. I know I just click one. And then next and publish. And I can do that again. I just click share, go back into my, go into another page. Since I've saved this information, click paste, next and publish. Do this again. And I can go to Facebook or Instagram stories. I don't want to do that right now because this is in the wrong format. So I would change this into another format before I did that. Or I could also go to my WordPress. Whoops. These are all the WordPresses that I have. And I can share to any one of my WordPresses here. Add a title. And then click publish. It will also ask me if I want to add and I can add as many tags as I want. Or what I can do, and this is another thing that you can do, is you can go over to 
you go to just the YouTube search engine and type in Okay, so there's my video so I need to just click into here and copy the link copy the link and then go into my back to my program and you can find this program in your Play Store, it's called UTags. Click on the and paste your URL in here. Click search, copy the tags, select all, copy the tags, and then go back over to your share back into your WordPress so these are all the things that you can do while using your cell and then just click paste and you have all of your tags in here. Choose publish and you can publish to any of your WordPress sites. If you have a buffer you can use your buffer and you can share to your Twitter your LinkedIn or your Tumblr or any other place that you have buffer. You can share to TikTok, to Vimeo, to Reddit, to Twitter, any place that you have on your phone you can share to. Now, this is another thing that I'm going to show you. So when you are creating for Instagram, you would choose the Instagram, select your photos, and I'm just going to go fairly fast with this. Choose next. You will see an ad. Wait until you can have that removed and then move your pages around. You could, after you do this for a while, you will see how fast this is to do. Next, default editor. This is the theme that I'm using. And you see now it's now in your Instagram form. Put your music on, tap to add music, summer smile, change to 33 and add music. Now it's now in your Instagram form. Save. Share. Choose your Instagram, stories, you see now it's in the Instagram form, next, select 
so, oh, so there it is on the Instagram. Okay, so one thing, to, one thing that you may have noticed is because I originally did it in a YouTube form. So I'm just going to go over here to Canva. To my designs. This is my design here. So now I'm just going to change this format. Okay, so just a bit of a recap. The three programs that I mentioned here in this video are UTAGS Pro, which is the one that I have. This is what it looks like, UTAGS Pro. Uh, the second program I mentioned is Canva. And this is where you can create your own images and pictures that you can use with the marketing video, the promo marketing video, and the marketing video maker promo video slideshows. When you already have created a short video, and here's one that I created from a template that is eight seconds, you can always click into the video choose edit and you can edit anything here just by clicking on these three dots and edit here you can edit the text you can edit your images you can add more images you can take anything away just by clicking on the X and then when you are done you will then click Save now that took less than a minute and of course you'll see an ad until you get the X oops then we'll go to the default editor and it already has its music on and then click save it'll say would you like to remove the watermark I'm gonna say no you can actually watch a short ad to remove the watermark if you choose You can watch one video a day, so you can actually make one video a day without a watermark. Okay, and done. Also, if you are interested in... Also, if you are interested in starting an affiliate marketing business and you only have a shoestring budget to work with, then download my free ebook, which has over 30 videos that shows you how to create an affiliate marketing business and how to join the ShareASale affiliate network. And also, you don't have to join the, the share a sale affiliate network. You can be an Amazon affiliate or a ClickBank affiliate. This book will still help you out. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you will be notified of the next video that I post. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.